All right, there, everyone. Welcome to another episode, of booze and talk. Um, I've got a slightly different thing this episode. I've had these sitting around for months, well, since my birthday, I think it was in March. So, um, this is what my fiance bought me for my birthday, and um, I was kind of waiting for a special occasion to try them. And uh, I don't really have special occasions in my life, so I just do them for one of these videos because I, I really want to drink them and. I haven't yet had an opportunity, so I thought I'll just do them for a booze, booze and talk video. It'll be interesting, and uh, yeah, I, I just feel like drinking these now. Um, so it's called, let's see if I can get it on camera, Owl's Brew. Shout out to Phil, Sleepy Owl. Um, tea crafted for cocktails, so it's basically a tea for mixing with booze. I should do these for my tea review, really, shouldn't I? But, um,. I can't, can't decide whether to do a tea review or a booze and talk video because it kind of combines the two things. Um, it's white and vine. A blend of white tea, pomegranate, lemon peel and watermelon. White tea's clean, light flavour notes paired with a refreshing watermelon. So this has got no alcohol in. Um, but let's have a look. Here we go. How to drink wise. Please focus camera. There we go. What can I pair with white and vine? Um, tequila, vodka, gin, or wheat beer. So you can mix it with uh, spirits or a beer, and it'll affect the taste. Mixing with spirits, two parts brew to one part booze. Over ice and stirred. Oh, I haven't got ice. Wait, I have. Right, sorry about this, because I don't like editing my videos, you're just going to look at a blank screen for one second where I go and see if I've got some ice. Please bear with me, you can enjoy looking at the mess on my table there. I don't have ice. I have got digest chocolate digesters. Uh, okay, so it, it doesn't matter that much really. I don't think I'm just gonna try it without the ice. Um, but I've got two more different ones. So these are gonna be future videos. So we have to look forward to one of them. You pair with spiced rum. And one you pair with tequila, but look at this. This is something to look forward to. Future video. Mm -mm -mm. So, that's just a little teaser for a future booze and talk. Or maybe tea review, I don't know. I'll try and get some ice ready for them, but um, I, I, did, I should have prepared, but I didn't. I go into these videos very ill prepared to be honest. Um, it says keep refrigerated and I haven't been refrigerating it, but oh, hopefully it's fine. It says shake well before use. Actually it says um, good for two weeks after opening and keep refrigerated, so hopefully it's fine. Hopefully it hasn't gone horribly bad. New York City it's been made in, apparently. Four, ser four servings worth. So I'm going to pair it with vodka today. Let's uh, have a look. Oh, it's got like a fancy thing on the cap, like one of these, like a wine bottle or something. It smells fine. So far, it doesn't smell off or anything. Oh, it smells nice. You can really smell the tea. It smells like um, like a Lipton ice. You know, like a that smell when you open a bottle of Lipton ice. So I'm gonna do the booze first, but I wanted to smell the thing. So uh, I didn't know what to serve it in either. So I just got a wine glass. So what does it say? Two parts brew to one part booze. So. 
measure it out here. I don't know how much you get in one of these little bottles. That's two tablespoons. Let's see how much it is. It probably says on there, doesn't it? Okay, so that's three tablespoons. So if I put six tablespoons of the brew, the tea in there, that should be right then. Oh, it smells good, what is it? Pomegranate, let's say. I can't remember what it said, I don't know. White tea, pomegranate, lemon peel and watermelon. I love watermelon flavoured things. Okay, so six tablespoons I said, didn't I? Yeah. Maybe I should have kept it refrigerated. It's kind of cloudy looking. That makes me think it might have like milk in it or something. I don't think it does, so I'm sure it's fine. So that's two. Oop, a little bit more there, but it doesn't matter. It's like I'm actually making a cocktail or something, a proper one. Four. I should have got some ice for this. I bet it would have been well nice of ice. Okay, that's six. And uh, what else does it pair with? Some kind of beer, I wonder what it's like. Wheat beer. I bet that's interesting as well, pairing it with a beer instead of a, a spirit. Oh, oh, just trying to find the lid which I dropped on the floor. Okay. Hopefully that's... Mixed up, I don't, don't know if it is. Let's uh, swirl the bottle. Swirl. That's not stupid. Yeah, I was going to try and swirl the drink with the thing, but I just dip my finger in. You know how it is. Nobody, nobody's watching. Nobody will know I did that. The first taste I had, I thought it tasted like like it had gone off, but the reason why is because I was somehow, because I'm doing a booze and talk video, I was, I was half expecting it to taste like beer, and it just, you can taste a lemon peel. And so I got that sour lemon peel taste, and I thought, oh, it's gone off, thinking in my head like, like it's a beer, but it's really not. But, I imagine... If it made your beer taste like that, you wouldn't like it that much, so it seems strange that you could pair that with a beer. Oh, it's, it's really lemony. Like, it's like, you, like they've got a Jif lemon squeezed it in there. Mm. Very sweet. See ya. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I just kind of wish I had a bit of ice to put in this now. It might have made the flavours a bit more subtle because it's very um, like punchy. Like the lemon is really like <coughs> um, almost overpowers the tea, but not quite. It kind of you can taste the tea in the background and the watermelon. Um, and like the watermelon and pomegranate tastes are more like the aftertaste. You get them. It's not. Um, you know it's. It's lemon first, and then the other tastes afterwards. I'm just going to try a little sip of this without the uh, without the vod vodka in it, just to see. Just a little sip. Mm, it tastes really different without the vodka in it. Like I couldn't really taste the vodka, but it's like the vodka makes the flavors really, like I say, really punchy. Really like 
brings them out, especially the lemon taste. Um, it's nice on its own, you know, so if you're not an alcohol drinker and you're thinking whether these would be nice, they, it is nice on its own. Um, I don't know how much they cost because it was a gift, so it might not be worth the price. Like, no, an interesting cocktail. It's quite cool, but for for a soft drink, it might be a bit pricey. I don't know. You can really smell the tea, but um. The taste, like you can taste it if you think about it, like, oh, I can taste the tea, but it's not like someone give it to you and you just drank it, you won't go, oh, that's tea, you know what I mean? Like, when you smell it, you can sort of tell, because it smells a bit like that, like Lipton Ice. Mm. Interesting drink, very interesting. I haven't got uh, anything like happening in my life to talk about because um, I've just been doing nothing, working and stuff. I'm reading a new book at the moment. Uh, here it is. The, I don't know how you say that word. The Tower of Physics. The Way of Physics. Uh, an exploration of the parallels between modern physics and Eastern mysticism. This, pro this subject in particular has always interested me because... I don't know a lot about um, quantum physics, but the, the, like, it's hard to wrap your head around that subject. But what I've heard of it, it always made me think of like what people have been saying throughout the years, like the ancient teachings and the you know this um, like Buddhism and stuff, and the, the way they say like er everything's connected in some way. I always thought like when they do like the sub subatomic. Uh, experiments and they find that like everything is sort of connected at some level you know it's all just energy and it's all just vibrations or, or whatever obviously you can tell from the way I'm talking about it I don't know much about physics but um, hopefully this will teach me more I don't know a lot about either, either subject physics or Eastern mysticism but the idea of the two being linked is something that has always interested me so yeah that's why I picked this book up seemed interesting some weird pictures on the back so anyway hmm. I'm getting more than more of the pomegranate now, actually. I don't know if that's because it's warming up a bit. Maybe the flavours are changing. I mean, if it had the ice in it, I imagine it would all be lemon, 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 lemon. But um, warming up, you're getting the pomegranate coming through now. And uh, it's nice. It's still very sweet. If you don't like sweet drinks. But, uh, mm. Another thing I found while I was, well, I've been looking around my house. I've been um, really like, I felt like a real like writer's block for making videos. Um, really like, what's it called? I don't know what the video equivalent is of a writer's block, but like a, a creativity block. And I was just sort of going all over my house, like in cupboards and things, just looking for something that would like give me an idea or something. And there. Uh, this didn't give me an idea, but I, I found my... I think I did a video about this on my old channel like years and years and years ago. So most people wouldn't have seen it. And this isn't my whole collection, but it's a small bit of it. And I found it funny to look through. It's um, all my DIY uh, weird records. These are all noise and strange music that... Um, made by independent labels or just made by the artists themselves um, I really at one point in my life was really into trading for these sort of things and it's all um, it's all records well CDs basically but who are like most of them have like been recorded and 
burnt and they've made all the artwork themselves like the artists and that's what I like about them most of all is the uh, the um, sort of way it's made by the people who made the music as well you know what I mean or at least by someone who like probably their mate who runs a, a small record label or something um, some of them are really interesting with the packaging here's one that's kind of wrapped up piece of leather inside and that's a CD there believe it or not got a few other weird looking CDs let's have a look in here um, yeah I, d I haven't bought any new records for years like this because um, I used to trade my own music that I used to make um, and I stopped making music because I got a real like I don't know, I started making videos and found that more interesting here's a, a record that they packaged with broken glass for some reason when I say record I mean CD, most of these are CDs I've got, I've got another collection upstairs of cassette tapes as well um, I've even got one on um, a, f a floppy disk um, where's the one? I found one. Oh yeah, this is it. Look at this. It's a, a, a credit card kind of disc. I ran my own record label for a short while called Hollyoaks Records. There's the, the logo for it. I think I had a MySpace page and uh, this is all like the artwork and stuff I made for it. Just they just copy CDs, just burn CDs on my computer. It's not like I got them print like pressed or anything. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to start making music again, just so I have something of a trade. Because surely people must still make this kind of stuff. I don't know what this is. Some kind of rap rap album. Cold Side Generals. I'm trying to find something interesting in here, like some good artwork or something. There's a CD here with, uh, oh, I think that's um, Smear Campaign. Oh, yeah, that's Stuart. I know I've met him. Um, a, a lipstick kiss on every CD, probably of the artist himself or someone he knows wearing lipstick, kissing each CD, sending them out into the world. Um, so I hope you like this look through random CDs. Um, right, let me find something in here. Mike Love 666. Rare, rare shit this. I don't know. I've got so many in here that I, I would have to do like a separate video on them. But I found them the other day and I thought, ah oh, man, look at this shit. God knows what that is. Um, there's a record that I released myself, and it was um, a, a cassette tape I bought at a charity shop. For I wanted a blank tape to record on to had these guys rapping on it, so I, I put the rap. They were doing MC in over like some drum and bass stuff, and uh, I kind of just made a made a CD and did a. Extremely rare, and very valuable, not really. It is rare, but it's not valuable. Here's a, a local artist here, DJ Cunt Smash. I haven't met him in real life. At the, he's been to prison and stuff now. One of my records, old, an old record, Gimp Nipples. That's Lux Ear Pie by Gimp Nipples. Extremely rare. If you've got that in your collection, wow. Um. Now that is pretty much it. I don't know. I've got a see. I've got one with a, a, a eye patch st stuck to it. Yeah. Um. I've got hundreds and hundreds of CDs. Well, not hundreds. I've got quite a lot. 
and um, I've got more upstairs. The, my favourite ones are probably the Passenger, passenger of Shit records I've got because I really respect that artist and uh, having some CDs, some CDs made by him or by someone who knows him is uh, quite a good thing to have in my collection. So I might do a video at some point of like the records that I've got because I see now I haven't been trading them for quite a while. A lot of them, like most of them, are quite old now, and um, I think most of the bands are like quite unknown or at least fairly obscure. So, oh yeah, actually the whole point of getting this out was to show one thing in particular because I noticed Alex Alex Evanthal was. Well, Ags even thought was messing was commenting on something that I mess that I commented on um on Facebook. I found this in a charity shop years and years ago. It says uh, not getting a ride, ultimate peach. And um it's some girls like rock music, it's two girls and uh I added it to my collection because it's a homemade C D thing. And then I looked them up online because I found this, and they're like they've still they've got like a Facebook page and everything. They're still like going and making music. So I was like, oh my god, I've got like a really old CD of yours. Another thing, Alex, if you're watching this far, if you've got this far in the video, you said your new computer's crap and it, all the videos keep buffering and stuff when you're watching them. I don't know if you know, you can go to like the cog underneath the video it should be like here or here. Click on that and there's like a quality setting. You can lower the quality to like 480p or 360p and your videos might play f play better if you watch them on a lower quality. I don't know. I don't know if you know that, if that's something really obvious that I'm telling you, but give it a go. It might work. Oh yeah, I can really taste the pomegranate now. It's, it's nice this. But anyway, this video's gone on 22 minutes already. Uh, have a bite of biscuit. How cool are you?